Howdy everybody, it's the Soda Jerk from the SodaJerk.net with another soda review. Today's soda review is Mountain Dew Voodoo 4. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful art? So every year Mountain Dew, for the past four years now, Mountain Dew releases a mystery flavor called Voodoo. And every year I guess it incorrectly. So let's guess this one incorrectly together. I have the windows open today, so we'll see if, um, let's take these off, so you're not distracted by the ring light. <sighs> anyway, I have the windows open today to hopefully get rid of some of the echo. We'll find out if that works. Here are the ingredients. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, tartaric acid, citric acid, natural flavor, sodium citrate, sodium benzoate, Preserves freshness. Gum arabic, caffeine, glycerol, ester of rosin, calcium, disodium EDTA to protect flavor. Bottled under the authority of PepsiCo Incorporated, Fortune, New York, 10567. Caffeine content 91 milligrams per 20 fluid ounces. Got a nice kick to it there. 72 grams of sugar. Limited edition. 2022, you can get a, a voodoo costume. You can get a costume of voodoo there. See him? And I believe Spirit Halloween stores. So, if you want to be voodoo this Halloween, Spirit Halloween. It smells, it smells fruity. It does smell specifically fruity though. That smells like Sour Patch Kids. That smells like a package of Sour Patch Kids. That is almost the most certain I've been in opening one of these before. And I've had numerous Sour Patch Kids sodas, so I should be able to tell by a drink. Yeah, that's, that's Sour Patch Kids soda. That's <laughs> the, see y'all later, everybody. Okay. No, it's, it's, it's... Why do I think it's Sour Patch Kids Soda? Because it's tart, there is a sourness to it. There's a candy taste to it. It's like a... It's like a... Vague fruitiness. That's one reason. I just got through moving a whole lot of stuff, so I'm actually very thirsty. So that's one reason I'm going back to this so fast. There's a vague fruitiness to it, like a candy fruitiness. Not like a, oh, that's an apple. Oh, that's a pear. I taste mango. No, it just kind of tastes like candy. Like, like, like a handful of Skittles. Except these are sour. I don't think they would do sour Skittles. That'd be very specific. So Sour Patch Kids is probably where this is at. Carbonation-wise, it's a fine level of bubbles, but they create enough fizz to give a nice texture to the beverage. Not quite a sizzle. What's below a sizzle? Like a, a fizz, probably. Um, just like, just, just a little bit, just a little bit running across the tongue. Baby bubbles running across the tongue. And even though it has 72 grams of sugar, it's not overly sweet. Um, I'm not, this isn't like cloyingly sweet. It's a good sweet, and I think the tartness helps that. The tartness is helping break up what would be, or what could be, a very sweet beverage. But it's, it's creating enough of a flavor differential to where it's, um, it's, it's more complex than it should be, or not as one note as it should be. But overall, it's pretty good. I found this at Walmart. I think there's a zero sugar version this year. I should know that as it's my hobby, but I don't know that. Um, but yeah, look out for this. I think you can get them in 12 packs and everything. So it's, it's quite tasty. One more sip. Before I go find out what the audio sounds like and either cry or I'm happy. Know how to be happy? Go to thesoderjerk.net. 
with over 1,000 soda reviews. Over 1,000 soda reviews. Where else can you go for that? Nowhere. You can go nowhere else for over 1,000 soda reviews. I'm the one place on the internet that you can go and find that. That's just how, that's the, them's the breaks. If you want to uh, donate and help the cause, you go here. Uh, right there at coffee.com slash the soda jerk. And uh, you can Venmo me at the soda jerk. Two dollars buys me a soda. Remember that I burped? It's Sour Patch Kids. Two dollars buys me a soda. Fifty dollars buys me one quarter of a vintage RC cola, cola sign. Don't, you don't need it. I would not use the money towards that. I got these two birds behind me instead. And I got Skywise here. For all you um, ElfQuest fans. You know Wendy Peeny and her husband, who I can't think of his name right now? Very nice people. I met them once with my wife at a Comic-Con. They're great. The Sojark.net. I haven't tried them all. Yet.